Hello everyone, this is Dishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's Marvel Design course, we will learn about a shrinkage. Now, what is a shrinkage? The shrinkage are three types here. If you want to control the horizontal side of it, means like if you want to make the cloth a little loose, but horizontally, that is called warp. And if you want to make the clothes loose vertically, that is called weft. So warp and weft. If you will increase the shrinkage of a weft and warp and keep on increasing, it will become loose and loose, just like a silk or jersey. But if you will start decreasing it, it will become more stiff like cotton or denim. Now, controlling both together basically is called shearing. Okay. So, if we look at a cloth from a close-up, it's made of nets like this. Okay. So, if we are working on the, our cloth and if we are making it loose, so the threads, the space between, the gap between the threads will start becoming loose and if it is becoming loose vertically so it's called weft and if it is becoming loose horizontally that's called the warp or both of them at the same time which is basically uh, shearing okay now if it becomes loose so you can see the gap this black uh, areas is like gaps so the gaps will start uh, appearing and the cloth will start becoming loose and loose and loose. So if we want to do uh, a vertical or uh, like horizontal, so this is how we uh, work uh, with it. But one more thing, if you will notice here, is that the direction. This direction is known as grain. Okay. Now here the grain is. Uh, vertical and because the net direction is vertical and if i suppose rotate it a little bit diagonally so the uh, grain will be diagonal then the weft will be in this direction and warp will be in this direction so that's the grain of a cloth is so it will start becoming uh, loose or tight in this grain direction so I hope you have understood about it. So let's move to Marvelous Designer further ado and let's start working with the weft and warp. So here we have our model with this shirt. Now to control the weft and warp, we can do one thing here. First of all, we can go to the 2D window and let's control the weft and warp of the front and the back side of the shirt. Uh, we will ignore the sleeves for now. Once we will select these, you will get the property editor here where we have learned elasticity and we have learned seaming, okay, seam taping. We have learned the pressure when we were creating the bomber jacket. So here we have particle distance and other uh, different other stuff. So first of all, let's reduce the particle distance to five so we can get a really good result from it. And I will at the same time press the simulation. So while we are changing the shrinkage weft and shrinkage warp, so we can see a good result. Now, weft, as I told you, if I will increase it to 120, so you can see how it is becoming loose. It is becoming loose uh, vertically, so it is going uh, so the cloth is now uh, like uh, you can say falling to the horizontal side okay now if i will make this a zero sorry 100 back 200 so it goes back to normal now warp so warp become loose 
uh, in horizontal direction even if I will increase the warp here so you can see when it becomes loose in horizontal direction it will start falling vertically so that's what it happens opposite uh, in opposite direction it works now let's make it 100 pack so here what I will do next is do shrinkage okay uh, the weft and warp both at the same time so first this one, 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 uh, one, one, zero. Okay. And then one, one, zero. And you can see it is, uh, in the cross form becoming loose, which is shearing basically on the both sides. So it looks more like it's a Jersey or a silk. And if I decrease it, for example, if I will make it 80, from both sides 80 okay and 80 and you can see it has become tighter now the size of the cloth you can see uh, in the 2d window is the same as what I left but it looks tighter because the threads are kind of uh, like the gap between the threads are reducing that's why the cloth looks more tighter so this is how it works so if you're making something like a cotton uh, cotton canvas denim so you can keep the shrinkage of weft and warp uh looser okay sorry tighter by decreasing it and if you want to make it look like a uh, fluffy like a jersey or like a silk so you can increase the shrink uh, sh like shrink sh uh, weft and warp so it become loose and now another thing that I uh, like explained here okay was the uh, green direction so let's work on the green direction let's increase this a little bit 110 okay and 110 here as well Now, let me pull a bit here. Now what I will do, if you will see here, I have at the bottom, green direction. Okay, this is the direction what we uh, I explained you in the beginning and the PowerPoint slides. One way of doing that is if you if I will go in the 2D window on the top like textures and go to edit textures, you will see this line. What is this basically? This is basically a green direction. So if I take this green direction, okay, and then if I uh, rotate it like somewhere something like this, so you can see the green direction is rotating. So the weft and warp is the uh, is in the diagonal direction just like i explained in the powerpoint presentation so this is how you can do one more way another another way of doing this is simply if you know the direction itself so you can just go there and type the value 45 and you can see now it will be going in this direction so this is how you can control the green direction and you can see more of the uh, wrinkles are in the, like here and less are uh, here okay and that's how you can work on it more wrink uh, wrinkles are on the right side uh, mostly uh, right bottom and less on the left top so I hope you have understood everything and main purpose of uh, shrinkage uh, weft and warp uh, shearing and then grain direction so if you uh, have enjoyed this video and find it useful so click the like button and if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it which will demotivate me to make further videos so please champion my channel and like my videos if you find them useful so take care guys stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute if you are enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published.
Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 